Okay, here we are with our CR10 S5 Jumbo Build Part 2. You can see it's the main body of the, the drone. And <clears throat> did it in a little over 71 hours. The main thing that became my big friend here is this FR. If none of you have ever played with this on your Creality machines, it's your feed rate. I had a great time with that. I had never played with it before, mainly because when you turn the knob and you see that, normally it says 100%, you see it go larger or smaller, depending on where you turn the knob. I didn't see anything happen in the machine. Nothing. Well, I didn't realize that it takes X number of lines of code to be cleared before it upgrades to whatever you just moved it to. But once I understood that, and that the FR, which they say is, is feed rate, some people say flow rate, they're both wrong. It's speed control. <laughs> I mean, let's just get down to what it's doing. Anyway, you could speed it up. So when I was laying my first layers and just on the board, and it was just, oh, it was just going slower than snot. I just reached over and, and cranked that thing up to 250% and just putting those babies down. Of course, when I couldn't stay in the room and watch it, then I, I cranked it back down to about 125%. So the bulk of the print was done at a... 125% speed. This was a, a full reel of the cheapest gray plastic I could find on eBay. I'd say it used 90% uh, of it. So got about $10 worth of plastic there. The uh, <clears throat> top part which we'd printed in part one, you can see fits perfectly if I could. It's hard for me to do this stuff one-handed. But you get the idea. Fits on there exactly right. And I had uh, absolutely no warping or lifting at all off the glass bed. This new part, let me set this back over here. <clears throat> this new part uh, sat perfectly and adhered. I, I used the glue stick. I found <clears throat> some of these jumbo ones which have some disappearing purple which I wasn't keen about but you could get three of these great big ones for a buck so well okay fine I'll just cover the whole plate in it and that uh, really worked well no lifting no warping at all the uh, backside as you can see here is just smooth as a baby's bottom everywhere didn't lift or peel one bit so that part turned out wonderful I had before I printed this part, I had done this one little small part which will end up being on top of the robot. But my first attempt at it, which is down here in this junk box, I just put uh, uh, the, the masking tape on the build plate, which I've done lots of times before with the Creality's. But, and the PLA stuck to the masking tape just wonderfully. I mean, I had to use power tools to get it off the backside here. But the warping wanted to happen so much, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's, it's warped on all four corners, that it literally just yanked the masking tape off the glass. So that's when my first experiment with the glue stick was redoing this small part in the gray PLA. And when it turned out perfect, that's when I that was when I decided I'd go ahead and just cover the whole bed in it and start the main body. So my next print part will be the back. And then once we get the back done, it'll be the two feet. And once we get the two feet done, then I'll decide what I want to do about uh, the legs and their mechanics. Meanwhile, I'm hoping that a few parts that I have ordered for the Creality will come. For one thing, now that I've owned two... Uh, CRs. This coupler here on, on all of them, and they come with spare ones also with this white end. When you get the hose in all the way and it's completely tight and everything, there's still like two millimeters of play in and out. So when you have a lot of a part that might be detailed and have a lot of retractions, you're losing two millimeters of your retraction play right there. I mean, it makes for a sloppy print job. So way back when I first noticed that on my small CR-10 here, I went ahead and ordered one of the metal blocks that you can get, and it came with a, a nicer connector. It has zero slop and play. So I'd ordered just some of those because they're dirt cheap. 
off of uh, eBay and once they arrive I'll go ahead and replace that with those to get rid of that possibility of slop. It didn't really matter too much in this part. This part doesn't didn't have a lot of retractions. Some parts do. Just depends. So I think that's the update for now. Any of you that haven't played with the FR feed rate speed control, do so. You'll love it. You can uh, when you slice your print, slice it at 35 millimeters per second or whatever you want which is slow because once the print starts you can crank it up to any speed you want and you can actually see if it's interfering with the qualities then you can crank it down it's pretty cool just remember it doesn't happen right away so when you turn the knob and nothing happens don't get disillusioned just kind of if you're seeing it go back and forth count about six times back and forth knowing that you've cleared X number of lines of code and then all of a sudden you should hear it speed up or slow down depending on what you've done and I think that was about all I wanted to say this time.